Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I wanna talk about this idea of choosing a future that you actually want versus reacting to one that you don't. And there is a distinction. I know it sounds uh, you know, very minor, but it is a big distinction, right? Because I think too often times in life, uh, we react to something, right? It's that old, uh, don't react, respond. You want to be responding instead of reacting. And, you know, the, the, the thing of it is, and this might sound like very esoteric, but at the end of the day, all futures are like almost inevitable. But they're always, all these futures are in conflict of each other and so the push and pull of it, ultimately we decide which future takes hold, right? Um, and I'm not the only one to kind of talk about it in this way, like, you know, in any sort of uh, spiritual book, self-help book uh, identifies this as such, right? And so in that way, when you really consider it, why wouldn't you want to decide what your what 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 your future should look like you know um so it, it it puts you in a much active role than just saying yes or no to what's presented in front of you instead rather stepping stepping back and considering okay what is it that i actually what do i want to fight for what gives me passion what gives me life versus just rejecting something that doesn't Right now, one starts to sound like, oh yeah, that's that's something that like is worthwhile versus the other one like, wait, that's that's rather limiting, right? Exactly. One is full of possibilities that you get to decide. One's just a rejection of something. But most of us, that's what we do. We we just reject a future rather than choose to step into one. Call it fear? I don't know. It's mostly based in fear, regardless of what it is. We choose to be small because we don't realize we get to make that decision of a future we actually want. It doesn't mean be careless, right? You know, um, there's still, with any future that, that you want, what you have to understand is there's a lot of work that goes into it. It's like kind of like people misconstrue optimism. Optimism is this belief that the future is brighter, but it doesn't reject the horrors of the present and say, nah, it's all good. No, 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 that's not what optimism is, not at its core. But in order to get to that future, you have to have an active role. So first step is you gotta choose. Second step is you gotta work. And that, to me, sounds quite liberating. I hope it does to you. Because it should. It really should. So that's my message. Choose a future that you want, rather than react to one you don't. I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Please share your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section, or hit me up on social media, at Phil Svitek. Would love to converse with you. If you think this episode might be a benefit to somebody in your life, please share with them. I certainly would appreciate it. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.